It looks quiet for the rest of the week and pretty much normal, which we don't say very often, Scott. Or more like a shock to the system. Yeah. All right, 614. Well, Vice President Joe Biden will meet with representatives from the video game industry Friday. Biden is heading up a presidential task force on gun control issues and is expected to deliver recommendations next week. Jim Acosta has more on Friday's meeting. We know that it is, uh, uh, there is, there is no silver bullet. With Vice President Joe Biden's task force closing in on making its recommendations for new gun control laws, the focus is starting to turn to what, if anything, can get passed in a Congress mired in gridlock. But on an Iowa public TV show, the state's Republican Senator Charles Grassley sounded open to two of Biden's likely proposals, restricting high-capacity gun magazines and tightening background checks. I also uh, think, though, that we do have to do things to make sure the database of the FBI has all the information so people can't buy guns that shouldn't have guns. The vice president laid out some of the ideas emerging from his task force Thursday, but he did not mention a new assault weapons ban. Stirring speculation, the White House is dropping the proposal. But the White House says that's not so. An administration spokesman told CNN avoiding this issue just because it's been politically difficult in the past is not an option. That's despite what will be fierce opposition from the nation's top gun lobby, the National Rifle Association. I do not think that there's going to be a ban on so-called assault weapons passed by the Congress. The NRA warns it plans an aggressive ad campaign to fight the administration's proposals. The group can simply point to what happened in 1994 when President Bill Clinton signed the last assault weapons ban into law. Democrats lost control of both houses of Congress to Republicans. He's become the only Republican candidate in Indiana with an F rating from the NRA. Last year, the NRA proved it was willing to go after the GOP as well, running this TV ad against former Indiana Senator Dick Lugar, who lost a primary battle to a more conservative challenger. The White House appears to be prepared for the fight to come. After Biden spent days meeting with different interest groups, the latest being video game makers, the vice president doesn't seem to be in the mood to take on the entertainment industry. Are Democrats as nervous about the NRA as they used to be? Uh, no, they're not. Maryland Democratic Congressman Chris Van Hollen says voters are eager for new gun control laws after Newtown. If you look at the most of the contested congressional races around the country, uh, they're in the suburbs. And in suburban areas, I think the weight of public opinion is on the side of common sense gun safety uh, provisions. Democrats say it's up to the White House to make the case. That's why they expect the president to put a heavy emphasis on gun control in his upcoming State of the Union speech, and that's next month. Still ahead, one of the biggest high school rivalries in the country takes to the hardwood. Kent Taylor and Kendrick Haskins break down last night's clash between Trinity and St. X. Next on Sunrise Sports.